VPC Flow Logs is a feature in AWS that allows you to capture IP traffic information going to and from network interfaces in your virtual private cloud. Hi guys, this is Abhi from GokshaDB. And in this video, you're going to learn seven things about VPC flow logs in AWS. Let's get into it. Number one, you can enable VPC flow logs from the AWS Management Console, AWS CLI, or by making simple API calls. Once enabled, relevant network traffic can be published to CloudWatch logs, Amazon S3, or Kinesis Data Firehose. Number two, flow logs can help you troubleshoot things like diagnosing overly restrictive security group rules, monitoring instance traffic, and determining the direction of the network traffic. Number three, since the data is collected outside of the path of network traffic, it does not affect your network's latency. This means that you can create or delete flow logs without any risk of impact to the network performance. Number four, you can create a flow log for a VPC, a subnet, or a network interface. If you create a flow log for a subnet or VPC, each network interface in that subnet or VPC is monitored. Number five, flow logs do not capture real-time log streams for your network interfaces. This is to say that after you create a flow log, it can take several minutes to begin collecting and publishing data to the chosen destination. Number six, a flow log record indicates values for the different components of the IP flow, such as the source, destination, and protocol. When you create a flow log, you can use the default format for the flow log record or specify a custom one. Last but not the least, number seven, the aggregation interval is the period of time during which a particular flow is captured and aggregated into a flow log record. By default, the maximum aggregation interval is 10 minutes. In summary, VPC flow logs in AWS allow you to monitor information about how your network resources are operating by capturing IP traffic in your VPC. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.